Hey guys, thanks for uh, your interest in our Sprinter. I'm going to try to give you a quick walkthrough so you can see what we've done to it and see what the potential is for you as well. So you can see the specs already. I'll just show you. We uh, you can put a hitch mount on here so you guys can tow. We've, we've towed big trailers with it. Um, no problem. Uh, also added this Prime Design ladder, which is great for getting up and checking the solar or anything else you may need to do. Um, you can also see we've got two reverse cameras here, which is nice because you have one that kind of looks down for backing up into a spot, and then you have one that also has a wider view, so you can see like a rear view mirror, because obviously you can't look up the back. So um, let me just give you a quick look on the inside here. So this is the back. Um, again, this whole system that we put together here was modular, so each of these pieces can come out individually. Um, so very easy if you wanted to deconstruct the whole thing or if you just wanted to take this out and have a runway up the hall. Um, so here's our water tank, 33 gallons, super easy to fill here. Um, you can just take the cap off. Um, we filled it often with just a jug, um, but of course hoses work as well. We've got it set here to do an outdoor shower, which is nice. You can just plug this in and back here, shower yourself off. Um, you can see our water pump. Um, and then just some storage areas here on um, these shelves, you know, which originally we actually had going the other direction, but we sort of did a rebuild and I flipped it this way so we could continue to use the shelf that was designed to fit in this space. Uh, we also have some screens, which we actually just bought on Amazon. You know, these are huge screens that we stick to the outside of the back with magnets and then we stick one on the other side so that we can get some good ventilation if it's warmer at night and we want to leave the, the van open. Um, here's our electrical components. You can see we've got our battery bank back there, so we got our all our batteries kind of tucked in. That's the fridge, um, which you'll see from the other side in a minute. Um, of course, we keep a bunch of stuff back here, but we got our 3000 watt inverter, our smart DC to DC charger here, uh, which is great for and we're driving to just charge up. Um, also our MPPT solar controller shut off uh, right here, main shut off. Also the sh solar shut off here. Um, just again, if <laughs> we need to get into the details of why, but um, yeah, so that's our whole electrical system, uh, which was uh, an explorist design. And we just followed his kind of his layout, which and it works beautifully. It can always have more electricity than we need almost never need to plug in. I'll show you this side too real quick because we have 30 amp shore power if you wanted to. Um, we've never really needed to do use this, but works great if you are actually in a campground and you just want to plug in and have all your, you know, your 110 outlets working all the time. So I guess we can continue along the side. I mean, we put in these bunk windows on both sides, you'll see style just for some airflow here put the runners in which are super nice for getting in and out um, and I mean that's the cabin I don't know what to really show you here um, but we did we did upgrade the sound system which has been fantastic because it actually comes with kind of a janky sound system um, so yeah this is an Alpine um, has a DVD player and uh, we actually have it wired um, up there with RCA cables so you could actually mount a TV uh, somewhere in here if you wanted a TV in back that would play through this DVD player. Um, and then we added the 6x9s up here, kicker 6x9s and we upgraded the, the uh, 6 inch as well on the door to kicker uh, speakers so it's got a pretty good sound system which I can show you here in a few minutes. Um, we finished the walk around the outside. Um, and we added this just to kind of keep the hood pristine. Uh, the windshield actually, we're getting this fixed next week, but there was a little chip here and it just ran here just a two days ago. So we're gonna replace the windshield. So that's not gonna be an issue, but uh, yeah, otherwise, uh, let's see, Come around here. Um, we bought these screens for the front windows which are magnetic They're awesome just kind of put on here and keep the bugs out you know if you want to leave the front windows open and um, 
My wife, doing the filming, actually made these as well, which are magnetic. And these just, we just slap these on at night to, you know, keep the light out. And then we also have a front windshield cover so that, you know, there's no sun coming in all around. Again, those will all come with the van. So, here's the other running board. Um, yeah, so this floor, this is a um, vinyl floor that actually we got from Lowe's and installed, and it's, it's held up pretty well. Um, it's, I can't remember what the thickness is on the... But anyway, it's a, it's a nice floor. Um, we added this for some shoe space for the kids to put their shoes in for cubbies. Um, we want to take a peek in here. Added an outlet right here. So that way we can run our, um, our little shop vac to vacuum out this chair and anything up here. Um, I added USBs here and one over there that are connected to the house batteries. So those run all the time. I guess I didn't really show you that, but I have them here as well. Um, so I've got more USBs so that you can always kind of plug in and charge your devices, whatever you need to do. Um, we added this overhead storage shelf here. I can't remember. Can you tell me what was the company that we got the design from? Mm -hmm. Anyway, we got that from some popular van lifers, which I'm sure you can find uh, that online somewhere. Um, here's another um, window covering that we just added to cover this up so that at night we can kind of keep the keep the light out. Um, here's a triple bunk system that I designed. We have several kids and uh, needed a way to sort of pack them in here. So um, it's a little bit tight, but you know, it's like Navy style, but um, so again, there's a few areas you'll see as we walk through that are a little bit rough only because we didn't finish sort of our build out. And at this point, knowing that somebody else is probably going to take it over, um, and maybe redesign it. We didn't want to, you know, put a whole lot more into some of those finishing touches if somebody's just going to tear this out anyway. Um, yeah, so here's a bunk, which we use for storage, you know, during the day, um, or sometimes down here, another one while we drive. So the bottom two bunks, they all have touch LED lights, which the kids can just tap on and off. Um, so... Those are nice for reading lights, and there's fans in here, is a fan as well. I can just turn this one on real quick. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but just to get some air in the back of these little fans. Again, the 12 volt fans, but they move a lot of air. Um, so it's super nice. Um, and real quick, here's our bathroom. Um, again, the original design was, you know, different, but we wanted to throw in this composting toilet. Um, so we have these hooks up here, which we'll just hang like a, a shower curtain around for privacy. But for the most part, I mean, you know, everybody else kind of leaves when you want to use the bathroom so you can have a little bit more privacy. And for really, you'll find, or maybe you already do know that, um, you know, you try to try to do your business at a rest area if possible and use this for those times when you absolutely cannot. So again, it's all it's all cleaned out and sanitized. I just have it kind of sitting here now, just airing out. Um, another plug and our, our uh, fire extinguisher, just to be ready um, for any, God forbid. Um, this, this here is, <laughs> again, I, this I would put into the wall, but it was supposed to be temporary. But um, if you flip this switch, it actually powers um, the sound system. So, you know, we use that a lot when we're just parked and we're listening to music um, or if kids want to watch a movie up front or something like that. Um, and then these are also light switches. So we've got um, the reds, which are not going to show up very much here during the day. But we've got three reds, which are fantastic um, for at night because you can have it and it really lights up the area but it's not bright enough to like keep the kids awake and it's also not bright enough to attract bugs so we run those a lot at night um, and then of course we've got our whites this is the front whites and this is on, these are both on a three-way switch so you can turn them on here and then I can come back here and go to bed and I can actually just turn them both off from back here off or on from here so that's sort of the idea with that
Um, and then also we've got a few extras because one of these was going to be an electronic ball valve for emptying the gray water tank, which we just never did because I didn't want to cut any more holes in the floor, knowing that somebody else was probably going to come in here and keep this and make it to their own. So I just, I left that for now and we've got just kind of a temporary gray water tank. If you want to take a look right here, just under here. And so we just screw and unscrew this to the sink. Again, this is, I think two, two and a half gallons. So basically every time we're done cleaning up after a meal, we'll just take that outside so you don't overflow that thing. Uh, that's no fun. And um, while we're here, take a look at our little Rivati sink. This thing's been amazing. Just uh, for doing dishes, you know, it's great. You can use it in both functions. Um, spray off your stuff. I'm actually parked on kind of a slope here, so I don't know how that's gonna drain. Um, anyway, that is our kitchen area. Um, like I said, this was a redesign because initially this was all wide open and we had a series of cushions across here that made a queen size bed and back. Um, which I would always recommend uh, a full mattress for adults that was a terrible design and uh, painful on the back for quite a while so anyway um, this was a redesign um, initially this this drawer would pull out and we had another thing that pulled across which sort of came together and meshed into this you know in design it was beautiful but uh, in function it kind of broke down over time so anyway this is super strong and this is like a 500 pound <laughs> slides on that so you know a little more than you need but um, still a great storage area um, there and there's room for storage here which we were gonna put in but again never never did so um, let's take a turn here and take a look at this okay so right here we have our heater so this is our diesel heater our s bar diesel heater is right underneath here so if you need to access that you can easily just screw out these three screws this panel comes out and you can access the heater um, as well as the back side of this this uh, panel so again this panel um, combines both the 12 volt and the 110 together which is super convenient because all my breakers are right here um, and I can you know check all my fuses and everything uh, right here conveniently so again this is the back side of that drawer system that I had showed you before of course used to flip around the other way and the drawers would come out here which was super handy um, but then when we went to this design where the bed folds down and now we have a full bed um, it's really not accessible from that direction so um, here's also our our Bosch hot water heater which um, you know again it's a seven gallon so between this thing holding seven gallons and our water tank holding 33 we have 40 gallons of fresh water um, capacity together between the two um, and again never had an issue with not having hot water again you get just kind of get strategic about when you turn it on turn it on and off right here um, with this um, generally we would run that while we're driving because of course you're producing a lot more electricity than you're um, needing um, and so the excess can go into that or we would cook, we would use our Instapot and we'd have it, you know, tied down back here while we were driving to, to cook and then have a meal ready while we, we got to where we needed to get. So, um, and, and now I'll show you this here. Well, let's look at the fridge. This is a Dometic um, dual zone. It's now the beer fridge. Keep some extra stuff out here. Um, but, you know, both zones are controlled actually by Bluetooth. So you can raise and lower the temperature with that Bluetooth on your phone. Um, yeah, what else do we have back here? So this whole panel, just to, again, we've got a few um, USBs that you can, you know, we can switch in and out if you like something else. If you want a USB-C, you can easily unscrew one and, and wire that in. Um, we have lights for the back, white lights here. This is the kitchen lights, <laughs> which is actually just behind you and uh, now over the sink. Um, just have a little bit more light on your workspace here. Um, this I just recently installed because of course it's impossible to access the inverter uh, through here where you used to just be able to reach down. Um, now we've got this. So if you wanna turn on uh, the inverter and have your 110 juice, there, there you have it. Um, or again, if you're in shore power, flip it the other way. 
So that's super convenient to have right here. And now this space is also kind of a cooking space. So we have an induction cooktop that, you know, we set up here, plug in here. And um, yeah, it's really perfect. It provides for more uh, workspace. Uh, another thing that I would do if we weren't selling is I would put another, you know, space here um, because again, you know, I don't want to be losing things down along here because then you have to pull this panel off, which isn't hard. I mean, there's just a couple of screws and it just pops right off, but uh, it'd be nice to have another workspace here where you can just kind of set some things out and prep meals or whatever. Um, so let me show you the bed mode. Let me just toss this behind you here. So the bed mode, again, like I said, with this, you just have to fold this down because again, this is gonna come across here and it's gonna, all the weight is gonna be distributed on these three points. Um, and so this had to be mobile so that we could get in and out of the fridge. So for the most part, I just leave that up during the day. Just gotta kind of pull this, this back and fold that down. Um, of course. So um, when the bed, you know, again, you have to kind of flip the whole thing and I'll just kind of show you how that works. So you just fold this, fold it down, and then there's your full bed and Snoopy. So yeah, so I mean, we have a little step stool that we normally put here at night to get in and out, but you know, full, full queen size bed, it's perfect. So I'm 6'3", and this is, this is perfect for me. Um, even with the flare space, I couldn't go this way. Um, not, com not as comfortably, so this is why we chose this design. Uh, we've got our max fan here, um, which is, you know, great, depending upon the season, you know, to, to blow air in or suck air out of the van. Um, of course, uh, we have, I'll show you this real quick. You know, just to keep the sun out, to keep the onlookers from, from looking in. Um, we have a bunch of Govi devices in the van here, which again are Bluetooth. This is this guy just tells us what our humidity is, and then turn this off so you can hear me. Um, and then uh, temps in here, and again that's all connected to the Bluetooth on your phone. So you know I can check what the temperature is in the van at any time. I also have one down in the garage because again that's where heat tends to build up, especially when you're driving and you have the DC charger going um, that that thing can get kind of warm and so I like to keep track of how much warmer it is back there than it is in the van so that's really nice and again all those devices down there are connected to Bluetooth um, so you can always check to see how much solar you're getting you can always check to see how much uh, wattage is coming through the DC charger um, yeah the battery controller also is is Bluetooth so um, all very good. Here is the S-Bar heater. Um, I mounted on the wall and back because I wanted it further away from where the actual heat came out, you know, for obvious reasons. Um, and it's nice too, because if I'm sleeping here and I need to check, okay, you know, it just kicked off because it was only running for four hours or whatever. Or if it starts to get cold at night, I can easily just lean over and adjust the temp of the heat that we're getting. So yeah, I don't know what else you want to know. Um, I've got, I mounted these bad boys back here because, um, it's nice to have, you know, if sometimes you're working in back, there's a, a switch back there and it just lights up the floor, uh, in, in the outside, um, in, in back of the van. Um, of course we've got our smoke detector. We've actually got a carbon monoxide detector down mounted right next to the DC, DC or I'm sorry the diesel heater um, that thing's never gone off thankfully um, but just for safety purposes we put that in down there so I think that is for the most part the walkthrough in here um, again all this stuff is is pretty mobile and movable if you wanted to you know take down some things you easily could do that um, this is what's worked for our family and it's been great. And let us know if you have any questions. Um, let's go start the van real quick just to show you how it runs. 
Not that you would question that, but let's give it a spin. So, I mean, su super easy, just click to start. Um, yeah, so as I said before, you have your rear view mirror, um, which looks wide. I mean, again, you can't see a whole lot there right now because we're super close to the, to the garage. Um, but let me toggle through some of this stuff, actually. I don't know what the doors open, what it's gonna let us let us do here. So you want to zoom in on the mileage. You can see it's just got 19,083 miles. Um, can't see it? Yeah, let me go grab it. Yeah, there you go. Let's see. It's 80 degrees. All right. So let me just show you this too here real quick. Um, so you can see because you can always switch to camera, which sometimes we'll do when we're driving. We'll just have it on the rear camera. Um, you know, some, sometimes we'll drive with a, a hitch back there that has storage and you just kind of want to make sure nothing's blown off and bouncing down the road. You can do that. Um, but um, yeah, otherwise it's, you know, this the vehicle has run really great for us and uh, we've, had, you know, we've had no issues at all. Of course, we did put in this, this jump seat, which is, you know, it doesn't come standard. Easily could pop it out if you you didn't need it, but like I said, we've got several kids and needed to have another seat with a seatbelt for safety purposes. Um, but yeah, it just depends what you and your family uh, need from this van. Um, I think that's really about it. How long have you lived in this thing at a shot? I mean, we, we, we lived in it for a couple months and sort of toured the, the southwest and then we were in and out of it um, you know off and on um, but again it's a 2019 but we actually bought it in 2020 August of 2020 so you know it's it's been with a dealer and it's, it's basically a, we've had it for a year just over a year um, and so we've just discovered <laughs> that while the, the the van RV dream was great um, it just, in reality, we just, we have too, too many kids. Our, our family's just too big to, to make this van work for us. So, um, you know, it's time for us to move it on to somebody else who can use it and uh, love it. So, um, but yeah, it has been fantastic. And I mean, there's just so much more you could do if you, you know, you really wanted to. So, yeah, that's it. Let us know if you have questions.